Hi, Selena, for Who is Jesus Today? And I'm uh, presenting this now out there for everyone. So, um, it hasn't been a long uh, since there was the uh, a tragic accident of the a helicopter that uh, uh, crashed in Azerbaijan with the loss of the uh, president of Iran, Rashi, along with others as well. Okay, I think it's a total of nine people. But, of course, the uh, highlight is going to be on uh, the leader of Iran. And so, already it's being put out there who is to blame? Where should we point uh, the finger? You know, is it, was it just because of the uh, weather? Or was it a, a setup? Was it a hit? I'm not saying that, so please uh, uh, do not uh, uh, think or even promote that I'm promoting that as a person on YouTube here. No, these are things that are being said. I'm just, uh, I happen to be uh, repeating what's out there. Um, and so I think there's a, f a few things that a whole a lot of us will agree with. Even regardless of what a political side you are on, what country that you're in right now, what whatever is your uh, background, you probably will be more inclined to believe this was actually an accident. Um, now, you know who this, who, they're, who who the blame is going to go to. Let's begin with Israel. But United States of America, you're likely number two. So already, Israel and of the U.S. A leadership is a declaring that uh, we, we had no part, there was nothing, uh, there, there was no involvement with this helicopter uh, going down. And so there are uh, conspiracies out there, right? But you see, here is uh, the danger. People may not uh, believe something much at first, but as it continues to be uh, promoted, and it turns more and more into popular propaganda and with with the with the empire of social media how things start to spread out fast right like wildfire and you get some who will take that in from here and from here and from here and then you can start to have now you start to uh, there comes these coalitions that are on uh, the bandwagon yeah it would be so easy to try and point the finger, number one, at uh, the nation of Israel that's already in the war for a while now with, say, Hamas. Well, since October of, of 2023 to present. And here is something that, you know, is, is, is really hitting uh, the U.S. is that well, what about the sanctions, you know, of uh, the helicopter, you know, was in a terrible condition. Yeah, I'm just going to put this out there, you know, and I'm, I'm not trying to read a lot into uh, something that I still do not know a whole lot about. But uh, I just want to use a little uh, critical thinking here. Um, if you are going to use air equipment that you know is in poor condition, or just put it this way, not in the best conditions, let me change that, not in the best conditions, right, um, and you want to get a weather report, you want to have the idea of, of what uh, are the uh, uh, potentials of a turbulent type of weather in the atmosphere, not that always a, a report doesn't change. You get a report, it's going to be a bright sunny day, and it turns out to be a stormy rainy day. I know. But when there are the potential for risk, and even if you have a report or you may have some idea that something can go wrong, if we run into 
terrible weather, right? If we run into a, a storm, knowing that you are going over some uh, difficult uh, terrain to begin with, I could imagine how it is of traveling and crossing around in Central Asia. Another country, a country that I have once lived in, is Colombia. Has a lot of hill, has a lot of mountainous, mountainous a terrain. And there was a plane crash that really hit me hard some years back with um, the a football team uh, from uh, Brazil was involved. And some of you could recall that uh, tragedy. And there was just a few survivors. There were a few survivors. I remember a man who shared his uh, testimony of being, uh, he's a Christian, and he felt that something was going to happen, and he was reading this uh, particular psalm that I, I can't recall. But uh, he survived that crash. But see, um, a country like uh, Colombia, if you're going to be flying over those uh, uh, mountains, and it's really harsh weather, even in a... Um, aircraft that is reasonably good it's it can be a risk so then um, and plus a uh, um a small planes and helicopters are not as as uh, secure as the large planes now this girl doesn't have any background or aviation uh, I'm not an engineer by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I have not even uh, considered such a uh, such understanding. Um, but I, you know, uh, like a whole lot of us, I trust that those that are in charge of the aircraft can keep it up in the air and get it to land. And it doesn't matter how skilled you are, if the weather is against you, the weather is against you. Okay, as well as the environment that you were flying over. I got in a small plane once in my life. I mean a small plane where I see the pilot. Okay, right there. Uh, yeah, I was uh, traveling from one place to the next. That And I need to get in this a small plane. Um, and yeah, and it was unnerving. That's uh, some years back. And... Um, I was a landing, one of my most severe landings I think I've ever had in a plane is when I was coming into uh, the city of Portland, Oregon on a very rainy, rainy, rainy day. And it rains a whole lot there, as a lot of you know. And this day, I've, I've, never, had, I've never had that kind of turbulence, you see. And so, even if it's... Um, good or decent equipment of uh, the weather can really make everything change even suddenly so I'm just saying this because yeah this is starting now um, just as uh, hasn't been a long since this accident has occurred now and already you know there's these um, uh, statements that are being put out there that that this was a, a, a plot and a plan to kill uh, the president of Iran and quote you know it's it's all out there okay and so I'm not the founder of this statement because I am not actually um, at this time in belief of this okay I do believe that this was an accident based on uh, of the weather by the way and obviously um, there are those who were a, a fan of him and they are expressing that but there are those who were very much opposed to him as a person his leadership and as we know we cannot uh, deny that there has been uprising and upheaval in the nation of Iran and this has been uh, going on for some time and so now it's just a matter of time 
of waiting and seeing what will be the outcomes of this event, of this uh, loss of leadership, you see? And yeah, and then people have out statements about, you no, know, there, there was a, a plan to replace him. So uh, this is what we really get when things like this uh, happen. And I want to say this because um, on this uh, channel, I have uh, pointed out how uh, women have uh, been suffering in Iran, you know, and there was uh, the death of a woman for not having her head fully covered and so on and so on. So I was not in support of the president of Iran along with a whole lot of other people. At the same time, and I'm going to be really honest and say I did not wish on him or any of them this type of tragedy. No. Okay, so you're not going to hear me saying that on this uh, channel. Um, but at the same time, I was not in favor. And so now let's just look at it uh, this way. With all of these individuals, uh, and not just uh, focusing only on the leader of the nation of Iran, is that they have a family, uh, right? They have uh, more than likely a spouses and children and maybe grandkids or, or their parents and siblings. And so these people are grieving. Uh, they're in grief, okay? And so, right. And it's not easy, I could imagine, when, you know, when you are in such grief and you have to hear a whole lot of information out there that you should probably shut down to because it's not always true at all. So um, that's just what I have to say. You know, I don't have to like someone and be for them. But at the same time, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not called to wish on people tragedy. Um, you want them to have a change of heart in God. Okay, and so uh, I, 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 I like to say this, uh, I don't know anyone's last words before they leave this world. I, didn't, I wasn't there to hear, to hear the final words uh, as they lose their breath of life. And so that's where I stand with that, okay? So at the same time though, um, I would like to caution us to uh, be uh, careful with what we believe about um, this uh, particular uh, situation here because already uh, the nation of uh, Israel has been uh, surrounded uh, by terror. And so, um, yeah, it's so easy to keep uh, promoting and blaming uh, the nation of Israel. But I want to say to the, to the, to the uh, United States of America, you're a very uh, likely on the blame list too because um, that uh, helicopter was not considered in great uh, condition. It was old and it is considered to have contributed as well to, to the demise of those lives because it could not withstand the opposition from the weather. So those are things to really be thinking about. Um, yeah, and if you're on the American uh, soil, then yeah, w whatever a uh, position you have, even in uh, politics, if the U.S. is blamed, then uh, the U.S. Is, 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 is blamed, and if you are residing in the U.S., that includes you and me as well, okay? So those are my thoughts, and to uh, the people of God, those of you who have that uh, connection with uh, Yahshua and you are you're going to be led and, and guided on how uh, to handle this what to take in and what to reject and how to pray yes we have a world with lots of troubles but our God reigns and um, he makes all things beautiful in his time and I always say, and I'm going to end by uh, saying this, yes, let's live our life uh, carefully and cautiously um, and know the truth in that in, in, in Christ there's eternal uh, life because all of us are a breath away from eternity. It can be just like that. 
and I don't, uh, I don't uh, suggest that we always go around thinking this, but we should also be very aware of it at the same time. Okay, and so those are my thoughts, and just be aware of a whole lot of things that will be out there at this time. To those of you who know Christ, um, allow the Lord to uh, give you revelation and discernment in the Holy Spirit. And those are my thoughts for now. Thank you for listening. You can like and subscribe. Until next time, Shalom.